Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add custom CSS on Squarespace. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Squarespace, you might want to click on the create account option here in the upper right corner. And then from here to be able to create your first account, all you're going to do is simply click on the continue with Google or you can continue with email. And also you have more options here. You can continue with Apple, Facebook and your business or work email. And by following the on screen instructions, you are all set. Now, once you are here, adding a custom CSS to a Squarespace website can be done by the following steps. Now, the first thing is now once you are on your account, you have two options to access the CSS editor or so that's on the main panel wherein we can access and edit the CSS or add the custom CSS. Now, from your keyboard, you might want to press on F12. And from here, you can have the styles, completed layout, and a lot more. And you can custom it depending on your technical expertise regarding about CSS. But to make our lives easier, what you can do is simply on the left side panel of your dashboard, just click on the uh, website tools. And from here, you can see the option for the custom code and custom CSS. And from here, Say, for example, this. It's an empty page. And for you to be able to add any custom CSS, you just paste all the information here. All right. Or you can simply get the information from the option earlier from the actual function right here. When you click on it, as you can see, you can customize all of these information and again it depends on your technical expertise and from here from the custom css editor you can write or paste your custom code make sure your code follows the syntax rules to avoid errors and after adding your custom css you can preview the website via the desktop view right here or you can have a mobile view right to see the changes so if you are sure about it, once you're satisfied with all these changes right here, all you're going to do is simply click on the save option right here. Click on it. And once you've done that, I believe that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.